Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Uh, today, I don't really have a recipe per se to follow. Um, it's more going to be a combination of flavors and textures that I've been craving. Um, so, we're going to throw them together, throw them in a pan, and uh, hope for the best. And uh, I hope it uh, turns out good. Uh, if not, we're still going to eat it because uh, we don't waste food around here. So, uh Y'all sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, and uh, I'm going to get to uh, cooking. So, hang out. Alright, y'all. Start this adventure out. We're going to get our uh, frying pan going kind of medium-high. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan here. And, uh, eh, that's probably too much, but, eh, too much is never enough, I guess. So, alright, we're going to get this heated up. Because we kind of want to sear and saute our chicken breast, which I've already pre cut up and cubed up and got it, uh, kind of. kind of ready to go so uh, something off my my tongs there so all right get this heated up here I don't want it to absorb too much of the oil I want want it to cook it not absorb into it so it's greasy but yeah what the heck we're gonna go ahead and do it I'm impatient today get off here so we got our, we're starting with our chicken breast here, and uh, this is just two, two decent sized ones. So uh, got that, put some pepper in there, a lot of pepper. Something I don't use a lot of is some salt, but I think this dish needs the salt. And then we're going to put some garlic powder in there. And, you know, I like garlic, so it's going to be a lot of garlic. It'll, it'll cook down. It won't be bad. So, all right. Um, I'm going to let this saute up, cook up, uh, kind of get a little brown. And then uh, we'll bring you all back for the uh, next step, I guess. So, next step on our journey. All right. Be right back. All right, y'all. This has been cooking for a little while. I think we got her. Uh, I think we got her pretty well uh, browned up. Well, not browned up, but cooked to where I wanted it. So we're gonna turn the heat down to medium lowish. We're gonna add our shrooms. Just you know. We like mushrooms. Of course, we got to add onions. So, we got our onions in there. We're going to throw the lid back on it. Let these mushrooms and onions kind of steep and, you know, soften up. And then, uh, at the very end, we're going to add a jar of homestyle chicken flavored gravy. Um, Y'all know I cannot make gravy to save my life. But, uh, you know, luckily it comes in a jar. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cover this up, let her cook, and uh, we'll bring you all back uh, when this is ready to move on. So, all right, see you in a little bit. All right, y'all. Got those onions all softened up nicely. Um, I did bump the heat up just a little bit, um, just to make it cook a little faster. Uh, smells wonderful. Uh, I'm going to leave the lid off of it, reduce some of this chicken uh, liquid before we add our uh, gravy. So uh, yeah, we're just going to, you know, kind of let it 
let it do its thing and kind of steam off a little bit here. And, uh, you know, I just I don't want it runny. I want it. I want gravy. I don't want uh, water. So uh, uh, I guess while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some uh, riced cauliflower. Um, I'm really craving rice. But I don't want all the carbs, so we're going to use rice cauliflower. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll bring you guys back whenever uh, this gets to uh, the consistency I want. So hang on. All right, y'all. That liquid's all basically cooked out of there. So now we're going to add our gravy. I do have another jar of this on standby in case, you know, this isn't enough, but I think that's going to be plenty. So, oh yeah, that's going to be plenty. We've got our cauliflower rice back there, or riced cauliflower, whichever way you want to call it. Got that back there. All right. Now, we just need to uh, get that gravy to warm up. And uh, we'll be uh, eating good. So, all right. Uh, I think I'm going to throw the lid back on this thing just for a couple minutes. Let that warm up good. And uh, we'll come back and do our little uh, taste test. All right, y'all. We'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes. She's good and boily. So, we're going to eat. Eat, eat, eat. So, and grab a bowl here. I got my bowl. Mm -hmm. Get rid of this lid. Turn the heat off. <laughs> um. All right. Put up some cauliflower rice in the bottom of our bowl here. Honestly, thought about mixing it together in the pan, but presentation-wise, I think this will look much better, you know, visually. A couple more pieces of chicken. All right, there we go. So, all right, let's do our taste test now. All right, y'all, time for the taste test. The true test. Let's see, uh, I know it's gonna be hot because it's still steamy. So, mm. that's it. That's the flavor combination I was heading for. Mm. The mushrooms and the onions, the chicken, a little bit of gravy. Mm. That's really hot. Bring that right back. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. That last bite was really hot. But yeah, that is the flavor profile that I was going for. What I was craving, the, the flavor of the mushrooms and the onions with the chicken, that little bit of gravy and the, you know, the, the riced cauliflower. Um, like I said, I was really craving rice, but I didn't want all the carbs. I already had the, the gravy on there that had carbs. So, you know, got to make a concession somewhere. If you make it, uh, definitely put it over some rice. Um, that would be, you know, that would be moi. So, all right, there you have it. Um, cooking with the bear. Um, not really a recipe, but that's kind of what cooking is. Uh, you got to cook what you, what your flavor, what the flavors you want. Um, you know, recipes are just kind of guidelines in my opinion. So, but, uh, yeah, all right. So, there you have it. And, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, as always, oh, share it out too. Share it to some friends. I've been noticing that over 90 or over 50% of the people that view the videos are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It's free, honestly. Now I'm not going to charge you down the road or anything else. I do this, you know, for free. So um, thank you. And uh, as always, bear appetite.